Hey everybody, how you doing today? So today I want to show you how to do this look right here. Um, I think of it more as maybe... For me, this is kind of like a glam everyday look. Like, you want to wear it just to look really cute one day. You just want to dress up a little bit, but it's just that regular Wednesday or something. So, you know, basically... I just came up with this look. Um, I will say though, the video is gonna be in a voiceover form because when I was doing this look, I didn't really know what I was going for just because I haven't been feeling very creative lately and I've kind of been a little bit bummed out with my like creativity. So basically, I've just kind of been feeling like I'm not as creative and I feel like my stuff isn't as interesting it's just kind of been in a rut and I haven't been wearing makeup for the past few days so I've just not really like been feeling like trying to do makeup so this kind of got me out of my funk and I'm actually kind of digging it <laughs> I didn't really think I would but this did feature the Alamar cosmetics um, palette and I just thought that'd be really cool because it's just kind of a natural kind of everyday look I use the word natural very loosely but essentially this is the kind of look I came up with so if you are interested in watching this um, then please keep watching <laughs> Okay, voiceover Viv here. Um, we're gonna go in with that LMR Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade Coco Taxi and I'm gonna start blending this in the crease of my eye. I'm taking my Morphe brush and I'm concentrating it in the crease because I want it to be nice and concentrated there and these shadows are actually very pigmented so you can go in with a very light hand and slowly build them. After I do this though, I am going to go in with a fluffier brush and I'm going to start blending that out because I want it to be nice and soft but still concentrated in the crease. Next up, I'm going to go in with that shade Tropico. I think is how you say it. Oh gosh, please don't kill me with the enunciation. But I'm putting that in the crease also, but a little bit underneath the uh, original crease shade and I'm putting it on the outside because I want the outside of my eyes to be a little darker than the inside of my eyes, if that makes sense. Okay, so going back in with the original crease shade, I'm taking the blending brush and I'm going to blend the two together because I want it to be nice and seamless since they are such gorgeous shades. I want a nice blend so you can't see where this color stops. Now I'm going to go in with that really pretty white shade in the palette and these things are so pigmented I don't wet my finger or anything with it and I'm just placing this on the lid of my eye but I kind of wanted a little bit more precision with it. So I went in with this, you know, dual-ended brush and I went in with the flat side so I could just pack it and make it a little bit more defined because personally I like a little bit of a half-cut crease going on with my shimmer shades on my eye. And I'm going to take, you know, the brush again and I'm just going to sweep it across the eye because I just want it to kind of go into the next shade. But I'm going back in with that red shade because I feel like I didn't have enough depth for where I cut the shimmer. So I'm putting it back and then I'm going back in with the blender brush and I'm putting that orange in there so I don't lose the orange. It's a lot of going back and forth with me, I know. And I'm going back in <laughs> with the white shimmer shade, I know. <laughs> because I didn't want to lose it. It's a really pretty color and I want a little bit more, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But, okay, I was playing around, so basically I tried this green out on my eye. It was really pretty and I really wanted to put it on my eye. Honestly, this is optional unless you want to blend the two, which essentially I ended up doing was blending the white and the green together. But I did just put that in the center of my eyelid because I felt like I wanted a little bit of a transition. Then going in with that purple shade, I'm focusing that on the outer part of my lid. I don't want to really have this color go everywhere because I just want it to be nice and concentrated and have the smokiness on the outside. That was kind of what I was going for if you can kind of tell. And basically whatever is left on my brush I did bring it into the crease but um, I didn't want the transition to be too harsh so I did go back in with that orange shade where the gray and, um, and the purple meet because I don't know I just felt like it looked a little harsh. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Maybe. And now ignore the part that it's upside down, but I did get my Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner and put some wings on. That was hard. I'm going in with that orange shade and the red shade 
and I'm gonna put those underneath my eye to smoke it out because you got to smoke it out and then putting some mascara on I'm just using this mascara that I absolutely hate <laughs> but it's the only kind of mascara I have at the moment and then I'm going to start doing my face so for my face, I actually did mix uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus with porcelain and then this other dark summer shade I have because I'm in between shades. And then I set my face with this powder. I am going in with this Maybelline Fit Me finishing powder underneath my eyes because oh my gosh, it's amazing. And I'm gonna go in with my LA Colors Contour Palette because I absolutely love it. And then I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. Yep, and I'm gonna bronze my cheeks. Not really gonna focus it much anywhere else, maybe on the forehead, but not too much. Then I'm gonna put some little blush on. I'm going for this kind of corally color in the middle. Um, don't really know how to call that color, but I call it corally. <laughs> Then with my Moonstone highlighter, my trusty highlighter, I am going to highlight the high points of my face. After we're all highlighted, I'm going to go in with this Beauty Creations lipstick. I didn't like this lipstick at first, but like as I was wearing it, I was kind of like, okay, oh snap, I'm kind of digging this. I think it looks kind of good actually. Because I think at the time I was a lot lighter in my complexion, so it didn't look as good on me. But since I have a little more color on me, I feel like it looks a little bit better. But just set yourself and death about it. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. And comment down below like what you thought about this look. Or maybe like what you would do different. Or if you want to see some more looks with this palette because I really do love using it. It's so cool. It's so fun to use. Or if you just want to comment down below some videos that you do want to see. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, it really does make me happy when I see comments. So, But real talk. Can we talk about this lipstick though? Like... I didn't expect it to look this good. Like, I'm really digging it. I really like it. So, and if you see me looking this way, it's because I have a mirror right here and I'm just looking at it in a better view than from my viewfinder. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching and please check out some of my other videos. And if you end up liking them, please subscribe to my channel. I would love it if you would join. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.